want you to bow your heads with me. Clear your hearts, clear your minds of everything for a few minutes. Father, we come before you. We come expecting. We may be here out of coincidence. We may be here out of chance, God. We may be here, Father, because God it was a struggle to get here. But I know that you hear. You know. And you, you, you understand what we're facing within our lives. So I pray, Father. Let your word speak to our lives. Let this be an opening for us. To receive from you. I pray of your word now. Your word is written in my mind. Your word is hidden in my heart. Your word is lamp to my feet and it is a light unto my path and I will seek you with all my strength I choose to live my life according to your word your word of Lord it is eternal Amen Amen. We are going to be beginning a series on the book of 2 Peter it's called Grow in Grace Amen. Uh, crecer en gracia. Grow in grace. Creciendo en gracia. Turn to your neighbor and said, "You need to grow in grace." Voltea a su compañero y diga, "Le tienes que crecer en gracia." Grow in grace. Amen. Crecer en gracia. God has been good to his children. Dios ha sido bueno con sus hijos. And in his faithfulness to us, there's su, a responsibility that we have. Y en su fidelidad a nosotros tenemos una responsabilidad. We're going to look at that this morning. Vamos a ver eso esta mañana. In 2 Peter chapter uh, uh, 1, we're going to be starting our series. En segunda de Pedro capítulo 1 vamos a comenzar nuestra serie. And this, this is about the body of Christ. Y eso se trata del cuerpo de Cristo. It's about people and what our responsibility is within the church. Es acerca de la gente y cuál es nuestra responsabilidad en la iglesia. It warns us to be careful. Nos advierte a tener cuidado. This book is about talking about us being careful about the things that we allow into our hearts. Este libro nos habla de tener cuidado que permitimos que entren a nuestros corazones. The things that we allow within our lives. Las cosas que permitimos en nuestra vida. How many know influence comes in so many different ways? Cuando saben que la influencia viene en diferentes and that's exactly what we're seeing here. Y es exactamente lo que estamos viendo aquí. The influence that that somebody has or something has over our life. La influencia que alguien tiene o algo tiene sobre tu vida. Have you ever had that happen to you? Alguna vez ha tenido que eso le pase. It happens to everybody roughly around now. Pasa con todos ahora. It's called football. Se llama fútbol americano. And it becomes an influence. Y se convierte en una influencia. People change the way they are. La gente cambia la manera de ser. They get all crazy. Se, se alocan. They start wearing things. Se ponen cosas. And, and you know what? It's because there's an influence on their life. Y es porque hay una influencia sobre su vida. The influence is that they love what they experience. La influencia es que aman lo que experimentan. They love the team. Hablan, aman el equipo. They love the fact that they identify identify and they connect aman que se pueden identificar que pueden conectarse and so that's what this is about y de eso se trata we're going to find things that we connect to vamos a encontrar cosas a las cuales nos conectamos good bueno or bad o malo I'm going to say that again lo voy a decir una vez we más we will find things that will connect to us vamos a encontrar cosas que se conectan a nosotros they will be influencers over our life van a tener influencia sobre nuestra vida and we see that happening right here in this portion of scripture that we're going to be reading. Y vemos que está pasando en esta porción de la escritura que vamos a leer. The key things that we're going to be looking at. Las cosas claves que vamos a estar viendo. Are growing. Es crecer. In faithfulness. A en fidelidad. It's about Christian living. Uh, se, se trata del vivir cristiano. These are the three things that we will be looking at throughout our series as we grow in the Lord. Esas son las tres cosas que vamos a estar viendo a través de la serie mientras crecemos en el Señor. And so we're going to look at first what this letter is. Primeramente vamos a ver de qué se trata esta carta. It's a farewell letter. Es una carta de despedida. Have you ever written a letter to somebody say goodbye? Alguna vez ha escrito una carta a alguien diciéndole adiós. That's a hard letter to write. Esa es una carta difícil de escribir. I haven't had to write many of those. Yo no he tenido que escribir muchos de esos. But I can imagine how difficult it would be to write a letter 
of that magnitude. Pero me imagino lo difícil que es escribir una carta de esa magnitud. Second Peter is a farewell letter from Peter. Uh, segunda de Pedro es una carta de despedida de Pedro. But what he seeks to do Pero lo que busca hacer is to combat those things that are happening within the church. Es combatir esas cosas que están pasando en la iglesia. Behavior. El comportamiento. The behavior of the people of God. El comportamiento del pueblo de Dios. The challenge of growing and learning more of the Lord within your life. El reto de crecer y aprender más de, de Dios. Peter wants the people of God to understand one thing. Pedro quiere que el pueblo de Dios entienda una cosa. You never stop growing. Nunca pares de crecer. You never stop learning when it comes to the Lord. Nunca terminas de aprender cuando se trata de Dios. You never find a place where you ever come where you think that you've learned enough. Nunca encuentres el lugar donde tú piensas que ya has aprendido lo suficiente. And so we look at the first couple of verses. Y vemos los primeros versículos. Join me as we read 2 Peter chapter 1 verses 1 through 2. Eh, Acompáñame a leer 2 de Pedro capítulo 1 versículo 1 al 2. It reads as follows. Lee lo siguiente. This letter is from Simon Peter, a slave and apostle of Jesus Christ I'm writing to you to who share the same precious faith we have this faith was given to you just because of the justice and fairness of Jesus Christ our God and Savior yo Simon Pedro, esclavo y apóstol de Jesucristo, les escribo esta carta a ustedes que gozan de la misma preciosa fe que tenemos. Esta fe les fue concebida debido a la, a la justicia e imparcialidad de Jesucristo, nuestro Dios y Salvador. May God give you more and more. I like how he says more and more. Amen. That means there's what? More. He wants a whole lot for you. Amen. May God give you more and more grace and peace as you what? As you grow in your knowledge of God and Jesus our Lord. Dice que Dios les dé cada vez más gracia y paz a medida que crecen en el conocimiento de Dios y de Jesús nuestro Señor. I love the living Bible. Me, me gusta la, la Biblia viviente. It's a little bit different. Es un poquito diferente. Look what it says. Mira lo que dice. Do you want more and more of God's kindness and peace? ¿Tú quieres más y más de la bondad y paz de Dios? Then learn to know him better and better. Entonces aprende a conocerle más, mejor y mejor. What I'm telling you is, lo que te estoy diciendo es, if you lack in peace in your life. Si tú tienes falta de paz en tu vida, you must gain knowledge of God in Christ. Tienes que obtener conocimiento de Dios en Cristo. I'm going to say that to you again. Deje decirle una vez we más. We people that seek peace. Nosotros gente que buscamos paz within our lives, en nuestra vida, within our families, en nuestra familia, within ourselves. En, en nosotros mismos. Sometimes we're not peace. We're not at peace with ourselves. A veces no estamos en paz con nosotros mismos. And we try to find it in different areas. Y tratamos de buscarlo en áreas diferentes. We try to find it in people. Lo estamos buscando en la gente. Sometimes we turn to different substances within our life. A veces volteamos a diferentes sustancias en nuestra vida. By what we taste. De lo que probamos. By what we watch. Lo que vemos. Or by what we hear. Lo que escuchamos. But the Bible tells us here. Pero la Biblia nos dice aquí. Through the wisdom of Peter. Por la sabiduría de Pedro. He's telling us. Nos está diciendo. Do you want a little bit more of grace of God? Quieres un poco más de gracia de Dios? Do you want some of the peace that only he can give? Quieres paz que solo él puede dar? The Bible says it passes all understanding. La Biblia dice que pasa todo entendimiento. And that peace, y esa paz, it only comes when we get to know him better and better. Solo viene cuando le conocemos a él mejor y mejor. So we look at verse number three now. Y ahora vemos el versículo tres. And now he dives into what we're trying to gain. Y ahora se echa el clavado a lo que tenemos que obtener. It says, by his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all this by coming to know him, the one who called us to himself by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. Mediante su divino poder, Dios nos ha dado todo lo que necesitamos para llevar una vida de rectitud. Todo esto lo recibimos al llegar a conocer a aquel que nos llamó por medio de su maravillosa gloria y excelencia. You know, Christ's power will give you what you need in your life. That's what the scripture says. El poder de Cristo te va a dar lo que necesitas en tu vida. Es lo que dice la escritura. But the question is, is what is it that you need? La pregunta es, ¿qué es lo que tú necesitas? If I were to ask you that this morning, si yo te preguntara esta mañana, the million dollar question, la, la pregunta de un millón, what is it that you need? ¿Qué es lo que necesitas? 
What is it that you would gain in your life that would make it better? ¿Qué es lo que vas a obtener en tu vida que la hace mejor? Some would say money. Algunos dirían dinero. Others would say possessions. Algunos dirían posesiones. Some would call back and say, I wish I could have a family member back in my life. Algunos dirían, oh, me gustaría tener un miembro de la familia de regreso en mi vida. I'm going to ask you this morning is, what is it that you need within your life? Yo les pregunto esta mañana, ¿qué es lo que necesitas en tu vida? The problem is, el problema es, is that whatever we have in our mind, que cualquier cosa que tengamos en la mente, it only lasts for a season. Solo uh, dura una temporada. It lasts for a moment within our lives. Solo dura un momento en nuestra vida. Just like a new car. Así como un carro nuevo. It eventually comes old. Y eventualmente se vuelve viejo. Like a new house. Como una casa. It eventually needs repairs. Eventualmente necesita reparaciones. Like a new job. Como un nuevo trabajo. Eventually, eventualmente, we get tired of going to it. Nos cansamos de ir a él. And I'm telling you this. Y les digo esto. That the only way you're going to find this kind of peace, this kind of, of life that you're looking for within your life. Que la única manera que van a encontrar este tipo de paz es de lo que estás buscando en tu vida. The secret is in the beginning of that verse. El secreto está en el principio de ese, uh, de ese versículo. It's not by what you can do. No es por lo que tú puedes hacer. It's by the power of God that's working within your life. Es por el poder de Dios que está trabajando en tu vida. But we don't let it work. Pero no dejamos que trabaje. We don't invite it. No lo invitamos. We don't let it have its way within our life. No permitimos que tenga su, su manera en nuestra vida. We give it a space in our heart. Le damos un espacio en nuestro corazón. And we let it work with there. Y le dejamos que trabaje ahí. But he's telling us that for me to flourish within your life. Pero nos está diciendo que para que yo pueda florecer for en mi vida. For me to be able to do some amazing things para for que you. Yo pueda hacer cosas maravillosas para ti. It has to be my power working through you. Tiene que ser mi poder trabajando a través de ti. And what is that? ¿Y qué es eso? Promises. Promesas. How I many like promises? ¿Cuántos les gustan las promesas? I liked kept promises. A mí me gustan las promesas que se mantienen. Can someone say amen to that? Alguien diga amen a eso. Our children like kept promises. Nuestros hijos les gustan las promesas que mantenemos. You said. Tú dijiste. That was a famous word when they were growing up. Esa es una palabra famosa cuando crecían. You said. Tú dijiste. Right. Keep your promises. Mantén tus promesas. Second Peter chapter one verse number four. Look what it says. Segunda de Pedro capítulo uno versículo cuatro. And because of his glory and excellence. He has given us great and precious promises. These are the promises that what? They enable you to share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. Dice, y debido a su gloria y excelencia, nos ha dado grandes y preciosas promesas. Estas promesas hacen posible que ustedes participen de la naturaleza divina y escapen la corrupción del mundo causada por los deseos humanos. How do you overcome the things of this world? ¿Cómo puedes sobrellevar las cosas de este mundo? By the promises of God. Por las promesas de Dios. And it's a divine nature that is inside of our lives. Y life. su uh, naturaleza divina que está dentro de nosotros. It's a nature that we allow to flourish within our lives. Es la naturaleza que permitimos que florezca nuestra vida. How many have seen people change when they give their hearts to Christ? ¿Cuántos han visto que la, right? la gente cambia cuando Now, da su vida a Cristo? That. How many Piensa have actually eso? seen people change? ¿Cuántos realmente han visto like, la gente cambiar? They're not cambiar? the same person. Ya no son la they misma persona. They don't talk the same. They don't think the same. Ya no piensan igual, ya no hablan Everything igual. Everything in their life is transformed. Todo en su vida es transformado. And we're wondering how is it that happens. Y estamos preguntándonos cómo es que pasa eso. It's not found in a book. No se encuentra en un libro. It's not found in steps. No se encuentra en pasos. All those things are helpful. Y todas esas cosas ayudan. But when we allow God's word to transform and change our life. Pero cuando permitimos que la palabra de Dios cambie y transforme nuestra vida. When we allow it to begin to begin to flourish within us. Cuando permitimos que, que comienza a florecer dentro de nosotros. All of a sudden, de pronto, we change. Cambiamos. And it's not our nature. Y no es nuestra naturaleza. It's his. Es la de él. How many have ever tried to lose weight? Come on. ¿Cuántos han uh, tratado de perder peso? You know what I'm talking about. Right? Amen. Yeah, you can see I haven't done that. Hey, pueden ver que no he hecho eso. I've got a little tire here. Ya me cansé. What? A, a tire. Tengo una llanta. I have a llanta right here. Hey. It's a Dunlop, Dunlopped over, right? <laughs> the thing that I'm telling you is, we've all tried to do something on our own power. Lo que les digo es que todos hemos tratado de hacer algo bajo nuestro propio poder. Right? Try to quit something. A tratamos de dejar algo. Try to lose something. A perder algo. Try to gain something. Tratamos de agarrar algo. And when we try it on our own power, y cuando lo tratamos nuestro propio poder, it lasts for a while. Solo dura un, un tiempo. Right? 
¿verdad? It lasts for a while. Solo dura un tiempo. We can do it for so long. Lo podemos hacer por cierto tiempo. My dad used to always tell me, Mi padre me decía, Your talent will only take you so far. Tu talento solo te va a llevar tan lejos. Your talent will only take you so far. Tu talento solo te va a llevar tan lejos. Eventually, eventualmente, there needs to be practice. Tiene que haber práctica. There needs to be purpose. Tiene que haber propósito. And there needs to be discipline. Y tiene que haber disciplina. I've seen people that can throw a baseball like nobody's business. Yo puedo, he visto a gente que puede uh, tirar una pelota de béisbol como nadie. Man, you see them throw. Boy, that boy's got talent. Uh, lo ves tirar y dices, oh, esa persona tiene talento. But without that discipline, Pero without that practice. Sin esa disciplina, sin esa práctica. What happens? ¿Qué pasa? Eventually, it only goes so far. Eventualmente, solo llega tan lejos. And the same thing applies to you and I. Y lo mismo aplica a ti y a mí. If we want to gain the promises of God, si nosotros queremos obtener las promesas de Dios, by being a good person, de ser una buena persona, to be a faithful individual, de ser un individuo fiel, by coming to the Lord and saying, "I'm giving you my talent," al venir al Señor y decirle, "Te estoy dando mi talento," it'll only take you so, so far. Solo te va a llevar a cierta distancia. It's only when you have the divine power that God gives Solo cuando tienes el poder divino que Dios da, that things change for the better. Que las cosas cambian para mejor. Remember, we want to be 180 people. Amen. Recuerden que queremos ser gente de 180. I, I don't like when people say I did a 360. You're going back the same way you came. Vas a regresar de la misma manera donde vienes. I did a 360. Great for you. You're still going in the same direction. Hice una vuelta de 360. Bien, vas we en la misma dirección. We want to change our life. Queremos cambiar nuestra vida. That's a 180. Eso es una vuelta de Some 180. of us are at 45 degrees. Praise the Lord. Algunos estamos a 45 grados. Some of us are at 90. Algunos well, estamos a 90 there. grados, ya right. está llegando. Some of us need to get to the 180. Algunos tenemos que llegar a los 180. Now, once you're at the 180, y cuando estás en los 180, stop. Para. And don't circle back. No, no des otra vez la vuelta. Some people circle back. Alguna gente completa la vuelta. What we need to do is remind ourselves that it's through God's promises. Lo que tenemos que hacer es recordarnos que es a través de las promesas de Dios. And so how do we get it? ¿Y cómo lo obtenemos? Character. Con carácter. Verses 5 through 7 deal with us some things about character. Ah, el versículo 5 al 7 Ooh. lidian con cosas de carácter. Character. How many have seen some people that are characters? ¿Cuántos han right? visto personas que son carácter? Man, look at that person. Boy, they entertain me. Y miren esa persona, right? me entretiene. But there are influencers in our life. Pero hay uh, gente que tiene influencia en nuestra vida. And they're not characters. Y no son caracteres. They're people of character. Son gente de carácter. God wants us to be influencers. La, la gente que quiere que nosotros uh, demos influencia. People of character in our life. A gente de carácter en nuestra vida. Not people to laugh at us because we're characters. No la gente que se ría de nosotros porque somos caracteres. But that we are people of character pero, that they can learn from. Pero que somos gente de carácter de las cual pueden aprender. Verses 5 through 7. Read them with me. Versículo 5 al 7. Lea conmigo. In view of all this. After we just talked about all the promises of God, after we've, we've talked about how, how we can get them, in view of all this, make every effort to respond to God's promises. Supplement your faith with a generous provision of moral excellence and moral excellence with knowledge. Dice... En vista de todo esto, esfuércense al máximo por responder a las promesas de Dios comple a complementando su fe con una abundante provisión de excelencia moral, la excelencia moral con conocimiento. And knowledge with self-control, and self-control with patient endurance, and patient endurance with godliness. El conocimiento con control propio, el control propio con perseverancia, la perseverancia con sumisión a Dios. And godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love for everyone. Y la sumisión a Dios con afecto fraternal, y el afecto fraternal con amor por Dios, por todos. You know, faith is, is the beginning point, amen? A la fe es That's el punto Bible de says. comienzo. And so, faith is... Trust. Uh, la fe es confianza. Faith is trust. La fe es confianza. Have you ever done that that game where, where I don't want to call it a game. It's like a, a trust. They, they say, okay, fall back and let them catch you. Alguna vez ha visto ese yeah, ese uh, done it? ejercicio. All right, que, I'm gonna do this. Right. I'm gonna, he's gonna run and catch me. I, I, yeah, right, I ain't gonna trust you all to run up here. Trust. Con la confianza. When we say we have no faith. Cuando decimos que no tenemos fe. We're saying to God. 
I know you're good. Estamos diciéndole a Dios, yo sé que tú eres bueno. I know you're faithful. Yo sé que tú eres fiel. I know that you do marvelous things. Yo sé que haces cosas maravillosas. I don't know if I trust you. Pero no sé si confío en ti. That's what you're saying. Es lo que estás diciendo. When we lack faith, cuando tenemos falta de fe, we lack trust in our life. Faltamos confianza en nuestra vida. We lack the ability of asking the Lord to come and change that which we need within our life. Faltamos la habilidad de decirle al Señor que venga y cambie eso que necesitamos en nuestra vida. Hebrews 11:1. Hebreos 11:1. Faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. La fe demuestra la realidad de lo que esperamos. Es la evidencia de las cosas que no podemos ver. You know, I've always told people you have faith, and they say, no, I don't. Uh, yo siempre le he decido a la gente, tú tienes fe, y ellos I dicen, no. I don't believe in people. Yo no creo en la gente. Do you drive a car? Confi uh, te manejas un carro. Do you go through the green light? Uh, tú te pasas la luz verde. Then you trust the people on the other side that are holding on the red. And what's even crazier y lo, lo más loco aún, is on the yellow es en la, la luz amarilla. some of you speed up! Algunos le pisan más para ir más rápido. Oh, I gotta catch that light. Oh, tengo que agarrar esa luz. Because you trust they're going to stay on that red. Porque tú confías que ellos se van a mantener en la luz roja. Tell me you don't have faith. No me digas que no tienes fe. Because you have faith in somebody you don't know. Porque tú tienes fe en alguien que no conoces. You don't even know who they are. Ni siquiera sabes quién son. Or how they drive. O cómo manejan. Or they just got their license. O si apenas obtuvieron su licencia. Or they had drunk driving tickets. O te tienen uh, tickets de manejo. But you believe that that red light. Pero tú crees que esa esa luz roja it gives you the right te da el privilegio that I can run through my green que yo puedo manejar a través de mi luz verde that my friend eso is faith es fe and you do it every day y tú lo haces cada día and yet y aún you can't put your faith in God no puedes poner tu fe en Dios you put your faith in your employer uh, pones, pones tu fe en tu, uh, el que te emplea he doesn't pay you in advance to work no te paga uh, de avanzado para que trabajes you work two weeks tú trabajas dos semanas and then have to wait a week to get the check y tienes que uh, esperar una semana para que te den el cheque and how many of you show up after two weeks on the very next day, even though you haven't been paid. Anybody out there? Do that? That's called faith. Eso se llama fe. You believe in your employer. Tú crees en un, tu empleador. I believe the check's going to be there on the 15th or the 10th or the 25th or whatever day you get paid. Faith shows you trust God. La fe demuestra que tú confías en Dios. Even though I don't see it. Aunque no lo vea. Even though I don't understand. Aunque it. no lo entienda. Even though I can't comprehend it in my life. Aunque no lo pueda comprender en mi vida. I trust God. Yo confío en Dios. You have to grow in that faith. Tú tienes que crecer en esa fe. You have to grow in trusting in God. Tú tienes que crecer confiando en Dios. That's how we grow in His grace. Eso es como crecemos en su gracia. The more we trust Him. The more he helps us. Entre más confiamos en él, más nos ayuda. The more we put our faith in him. Entre más ponemos nuestra fe en él. The more that he works within our life. Lo más que él trabaja en nuestra vida. But it's not by our own power. Pero no es por nuestro propio poder. It's by what he can do within us. Es por lo que él puede hacer dentro de nosotros. Philippians chapter 3 verses 9 and 10. Filipenses capítulo 3 versículo 9 y 10. And become one with him. I no longer count on my righteousness through obeying the law. Rather, I become righteous through faith in Christ. For God's way of making us right with himself depends on faith. Y llegar a ser uno con él, ya no, ya no me apoyo en mi propia justicia por medio de obedecer la ley. Más bien, llego a ser justo por medio de la fe en Cristo. Pues la forma en que Dios nos hace justos delante de él se basa en la fe. It depends on faith. Depende de la fe. That's what the Bible says. Es lo que la Biblia dice. And then verse 10 says this. Y el versículo 10 dice lo siguiente. I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. I want to suffer with him, sharing in his death. Quiero conocer a Cristo y experimentar el gran poder que lo levantó de los muertos. Quiero sufrir con él y participar de su muerte. You know, knowledge is powerful. Amen. El conocimiento, la sabiduría es poderosa. How many have ever started a job and they just went, go and go to work? ¿Cuántos empezaron un trabajo y dijo, ok, empieza a trabajar? What do I do? ¿Qué hago? We'll go to work. Véate a trabajar. No. What do they do? ¿Qué es lo que hacen? They train you. Te entrenan. 
right? ¿Verdad? You're going to get training. Va, va, vas a agarrar entrenamiento. At where I work, donde yo trabajo, you get trained. Te entrenan. You watch. Te ves. Then you do, and they watch you. Entonces tú haces y te, te, ellos te ven. And then, like months later, like y, a month and a half later. Y luego después de como un mes y medio después. You're by yourself. Estás solo. You're doing it. Lo estás haciendo. You're working. Estás trabajando. It's not all of a sudden. No es de pronto. It's Process. Es proceso. The same thing is with serving the Lord. El lo mismo es con el servir al Señor. If you expect to know God, tú esperas conocer a Dios without knowing His Word, sin saber su palabra, then you're going to be like you're showing up for work. Entonces va a ser como que tú vas pas al trabajo. What am I supposed to do? ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que debo de hacer? I got saved yesterday. Me salvé ayer. And now I don't know what to do with y, my life. Y ahora no sé qué hacer con mi vida. It's the number one reasons why Christians have struggles within their lives. Es la pr razón uh, primera por la que los cristianos uh, tienen lucha. En su vida. They lack knowledge. Faltan conocimiento. They lack the ability of knowing the word of God. Uh, faltan la habilidad de conocer la palabra de Dios. My brother-in-law said that he had a friend at work. Mi cuñado dijo que él tenía un, un amigo en el trabajo. He said, oh yeah, uh, he's, his friend said, yeah, I go to church. Me dijo, oh, oh sí, yo voy a la iglesia. I, I like that book called Philippians. Uh, me gusta ese libro que dice Filipenses. He mixed Philippians and Ephesians together and created a book. Uh, uh, mixió Filipenses y Colosenses. Yeah, it, it's, Ephesians. Yeah, it's, it's Ephesians, Philippians, and Colossians all together. I mixed todos los Filipenses, Colosenses. He made a book up. I he created a book. How many of us are getting through life? ¿Cuántos de nosotros estamos pasando a través de la vida? With just the knowledge that Jesus died for you. Ah, solo con el conocimiento que Cristo murió por ti. It's a great start. Es un buen comienzo. But to have that walk with him, Pero tener ese caminar con él, it comes in, as Paul says, I want to know Christ. Viene como Pablo dijo, Yo quiero conocer a Cristo. And experience that mighty power. Y experimentar el, ese poder. You got to read it. Tienes que leerlo. I used to always beat my nephews in video games. Uh, siempre les ganaba a mis sobrinos en los uh, videojuegos. Come on, play with me, Uncle Craig. Uh, ven, ven, juega conmigo, tío. No problem. Sin problema. Let me see the manual first. Déjame ver el manual primero. Okay, okay. You hit this button, you do this, okay. Uh, All right, let's play. Botón. Okay, okay vamos a jugar. And then I beat them. Y luego les ganaba. How'd you do that? ¿Cómo hiciste eso? I read the instructions. Yo leí las instrucciones. That's, you know, the Bible, there are people that said, the Bible stands for B-I-B-L-E. La Biblia es uh, B-I-L-E. Ah. Close. <laughs> Basic instructions before leaving earth. Instrucciones básicas antes de salir de la tierra. Here they are. Aquí están. You want some instructions on how to, li how to live here? Quieres instrucciones de cómo vivir aquí? Right here. Aquí está. Knowledge. El conocimiento. You have to get it in your soul. Tienes que tenerlo en tu alma. We're not doing that. No estamos haciendo eso. First Corinthians 9:27. Primera de Corintios 9:27. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what I should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. Dice, disciplino mi cuerpo como lo hace un atleta, lo entreno para que haga lo que debe hacer. De lo contrario, temo que después de predicarles a otros, yo mismo quede descalificado. Peter tells us to have self-control. Ah, Pedro nos dice que te, te, tenemos que tener dominio propio. That shows temperance. Es esta temperante. Do you have a short fuse? Si tienes una... Um, Some of us had a pequeño. long fuse. Uh, and now, our fuse, mecha and now our fuse is very short. Y ahora nuestra mecha es pequeña. And why is that? ¿Y por qué es eso? We lack self-control. Ah, tenemos, no tenemos dominio propio. Control yourself. Contrólate. We don't have that. No tenemos eso. So anger overcomes us. Ah, so el enojo nos, nos sobrelleva. Not only anger, y no solo enojo, but desire. Pero el deseo. The emotion, la emoción, and the action. Y la acción. The emotion, la emoción, and the action. Y la acción. We give in to the things that we we like to do. Then damos Hello? cosas que nos gusta hacer. Have self control. Ten, ten dominio propio. Or we say things that we feel. O te decimos las cosas que sentimos. La emoción. And we wonder why we can't. Y nos preguntamos por qué no podemos. The problem is not your anger. El problema no es tu enojo. The problem is not your desire. El problema no es tu deseo. The problem is your self control. El, el problema es tu dominio propio. Can I get a witness? Hello. Amen. Yes. 
We lack this. No, nos hace falta esto. I just couldn't. St I had to say it. No, no, you didn't. no pude parar. Me tuve que decirlo. No, you didn't. No, you didn't have to say it. No tuviste que decirlo. You chose to say it. Tú escogiste decirlo. Because you lack the self-control to hold it in. Porque te hace falta el dominio propio para tenerlo. I had to give them a piece of my mind. Le tuve que dar un pedazo de mi mente. They didn't need it. Ellos no lo necesitaban. And trust me, you don't have enough to give it away. Y no tienes suficiente para darlo. Hold it. Agárralo. Self-control. Dominio propio. I will not allow that. I discipline my body. No voy a permitir eso. Voy a disciplinar mi cuerpo. Discipline my mind as an athlete. Voy a disciplinar mi mente como atleta. Ephesians chapter 4:32. I'm almost done. Efesios 4:32. You all need this anyway. This is the word of God. We need this. Todos necesitamos esto. Es la palabra de Dios. Ephesians 4:32. Efesios 4:32. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted. Forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. Por el contrario, sean amables unos a otros, sean de buen corazón y perdónense unos a otros, tal como Dios los ha perdonado a ustedes por medio de Cristo. This is patience, folks. Esta es paciencia. This is patience. Esta es paciencia. And that shows that we have the character of Christ within us. Y eso demuestra que tenemos el carácter de Cristo en nuestra vida. When you're patient with others, cuando tú eres paciente con otros, you show character of Christ, not you. Tú demuestras el carácter de Cristo, no el tuyo. Christ tío. within your life. Es Cristo en tu vida. Forgiving one another, uh, uh, perdonándonos unos a otros, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. Así como Dios a través de Cristo te ha perdonado a ti. We show the character of Christ. Estás demostrando el carácter de Cristo. If you can't forgive, si tú no puedes perdonar, you're harboring something within your life. Estás teniendo algo en tu vida. Amen. I'm going to say that again because I think we need a little bit more amens. Oh. Voy a decirlo una vez más porque necesitamos Thank un you, poco más de amén. We're harboring something in our life. Estamos teniendo algo en nuestra vida. Amen. Yes. And don't tell me you don't. Y no me diga que no. You see somebody tú ves a alguien that you don't like. Que no te gusta, oh. no te cae bien. Look at them. Ah, míralo. Oh, oh, they make me sick. Me, me, and me they're over sick. there. Hey, y están allá. Going, they have no idea what they do to your life. Todos contentos, Woo. no saben lo que hacen a tu vida. Ah, bueno verte. Look at them. Míralos. Ah, oh. Who's it hurting? Que que está está lastimado. It's not hurting them. No le está lastimando a ellos. It's hurting you. Te está lastimando a ti. It's hurting you. It's Se destroying you ti, inside. Te está destruyendo a ti por dentro. Of what you think. De lo que piensas. What you want. Lo que quieres. God tells us. Dios nos dice. Patience. Ten paciencia. Forgive. Perdona. Patience. Paciencia. Forgive. Perdona. Patience. Paciencia. I was patient with you. Yo fui paciente contigo. I forgave you. Yo te perdoné a ti. Patience. Paciencia. Forgive. Perdona. You move forward yourself. Te mueves hacia adelante oh, tú mismo. I've always told people. Oh, yo siempre le he dicho a la gente. Forgiveness is not for the person. El, el perdón no es para la persona. It's to set you free. Es para darte a ti libertad. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, gracias, Jesús. I let that go, man. That doesn't bother me. Ya anymore. dejé ir eso. Ya no me Now molesta. Now you see that person. Hey! Y ves a esa persona, hey, bueno verte, hermano. They're like, what? ¿Qué? Man, you don't know how you made my day. No has visto cómo me haces mi día. Now all of a sudden they don't have that control over your life. Y de pronto no tienen ese control sobre tu vida. No, there's a freedom. Hay una libertad. I don't have to worry about that no more. No tengo que preocuparme por eso. That doesn't bother me no more. Eso ya no me molesta. Patience. Paciencia. First Peter 1.16. Primera de Pedro 1.16. For the scriptures say, you must be holy because I am holy. Pues las escrituras dicen, sean santos porque yo soy santo. Godliness is showing the purity of God. A la santidad demuestra la pureza de Dios. Say that to you again. Godliness shows the purity of God. La, la santidad demuestra la pureza de Dios. When you're godly, cuando tú eres uh, puro, it shows that God is transforming your life. Eh, demuestra que Dios está transformando Amen. tu vida. That there's a purity that's setting in. Que hay Amen. una pureza que está entrando. That God is beginning to reveal Himself in a new way. Que Dios comienza a revelarse de una nueva manera. And someone say Amen to that. Alguien puede decir Amen a How eso. How many of you had that in your life? ¿Cuántos tienen eso en su vida? That God has revealed Himself. Que Dios se ha revelado. It, it lets us see that God is changing us. Nos deja ver que Dios nos está cambiando. I'm, I already am out of time. I have already promised you that we're going to dismiss. Ya les he but I, I want to share a, a story with you about an animal that I didn't know about. Ay, quiero compartir una historia acerca de un animal que, que yo no conocía. It's no called sabía. an ermine. Does anybody know what an ermine is? No. I didn't know. 
I don't even know how to translate it. It's just say ermine, brother. Es That's una, it. Ermine. It's E R M I N E. If you have your phone out, si shame te, on you already. But si if you have your phone out, fuera, I'm just playing because I hope you're reading your Bible. Y espero que están leyendo su, su Biblia. Google Ermin. A Google, hagan Google a E R M I N E. E R M I N E. E R M I N E. And you're going to see this little white animal. Y van a ver este uh, animal blanco. It's a weasel. Um, it's a weasel. I don't know how to say uh, that either. It's a weasel. Es un weasel. And, and this weasel <laughs> is este, known for its white coat. It's fur. Este animal es conocido por, uh, por su uh, pelo, uh, piel uh, blanca. What I found so cool Lo que encontré tan, tan sorprendente is that the wool, that the coat of the animal is so white que, que es tan blanca that it was used for royalty que era usada para la realeza for the robes para sus vestimentas and I found out that in doing this y yo me di cuenta que en el hacer eso that what keeps the white of the animal que lo que mantiene la blancura del animal is that he refuses to go in anything dirty que él rehúsa entrar a That's cualquier cosa crazy. sucia and you know how they catch him y saben cómo los agarran they go to the cave where the animal lives. Van a la cueva donde vive el animal. And all they do y todo lo que hacen is they throw mud inside of it. Es que le, le tiran lodo adentro. They throw mud on the outside of it. A, a, tiran lodo por afuera. And then, y, when they find them, y después cuando lo encuentran, they get their dogs agarran sus perros, and they chase them. Y los corretean. And he runs back to his home. Y regresa a su hogar. But the animal is so concerned of its white White fur. Pero el animal está consternado tanto por su blancura. Then you know what it does? Pero saben lo que hacen? It sees the mud. Ve el lodo. It stops. Para. Turns around. Se da vuelta. And surrenders to the dogs. Y se, se entrega a los perros. Isn't that amazing? Es, es maravilloso. And I'm saying this to you because of this. Les digo esto por lo siguiente. How many of us, if we could live our life like that? Cuántos de nosotros si podemos vivir nuestra vida así? That we're going to allow anything to mark us within our life. Que 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 vamos a permitir que algo no nos ensucie en nuestra vida. That even when we're chased after, aún cuando somos perseguidos, we will not give over to the purity of our life. No vamos a, a comprometer la pureza de nuestra vida. I'm going to live for Christ. Voy a vivir para Cristo. I'm not going to allow that, even though I'm tempted, it can it can feels like a freedom for me. No voy a permitir eso, aunque sea tentado, se siente como la libertad para mí. I choose to stay where I'm at. Yo escojo quedarme aquí. I choose to say I remain pure. Yo escojo decir yo me mantengo puro. And so that animal sacrifices its life. Y ese animal sacrifica su vida. To keep its coat pure. Para mantener a um, mantenerse puro. You and I have been to call to a life of purity. Uh, tú y yo hemos sido llamados a vivir una vida God de pureza. God has called us to a life of purity so that we can grow. Dios nos ha llamado a una vida de pureza para we crecer. Can grow in his grace. Para crecer en su gracia. That we can grow in what he wants to do within our lives. Para crecer en lo que él quiere que hagamos en nuestra vida. But we run to things in our lives, folks. Pero corremos las cosas en nuestra vida. Are you listening to me? We run to things within our lives. Me están escuchando, corremos a cosas en nuestra vida. They muddy us up. Ah, te, te they muddy us up. Te and God wants to purify us. Y Dios Amen. Thank you, Lord, that He can. Y él lo puede hacer. He'll make you as white as snow. Te va a hacer tan como la nieve. But we must make the choice Pero tenemos que, uh, tomar una decisión of saying, Lord, y decir, Señor, I'm going to live for you. Voy a vivir para I'm ti. going to live for you. For you. Voy a vivir, uh, para ti. I want to grow in you. Yo quiero crecer en ti. In you alone. Y solo en ti. Bow your heads with me. Incline su rostro conmigo. We're not perfect, Father. Uh, no somos perfectos, Dios. We're flawed. Uh, tenemos faltas. But this morning, God, I believe in my heart. Yo esta mañana, Dios, creo en mi corazón. Each one of us has our own individual struggle. Que cada uno de nosotros tenemos nuestras luchas individuales. Each one of us faces our own temptation. Cada uno enfrentamos nuestra propia tentación. But for me to grow. Pero para que yo crezca. For me to, to begin to see something happen within my life. Para que yo comience a ver algo que pase en mi vida. There needs to be a change. Tiene que haber cambio. 
I need to hold on to your promise. Tengo que abrazarme de tu promesa. I need to embrace this faith. Tengo que abrazar esta fe. I need to turn to you. Tengo que regresar a ti. I can't do it on my own. No lo puedo hacer por mí mismo. I can only do it for a season. Solo lo puedo hacer por temporada. But when you come in, pero cuando tú vienes, things change. Las cosas cambian. I become more patient. I become more kind. Un tiempo. I become more loving. Um, soy más amoroso. I want to know more about you. Quiero conocer más These de ti. These are the changes that happen within my Esos life. Son los cambios que pasan en mi vida. You are the only answer. Tú eres With your heads bowed and still closed. Con sus rostros, uh, inclinados y sus If you ojos say, that's me, Pastor. Si tú dices, Ese soy yo, Pastor. You know, I love the Lord. Yo amo al Señor. I do. Lo, lo amo. But I struggle with some things in my life. Pero lucho con ciertas cosas en mi vida. And some of that's commitment. Algunos de esos es compromiso. Some of that's discipline. Algunos de esos es uh, disciplina. Some of that is knowledge. Algunos es conocimiento. There, there's different things. Hay cosas diferentes. But if you begin at the core. Pero si tú comienzas a, en el centro. Of saying, Lord. Digas, dice, Señor. I believe in you. Yo creo en ti. I have faith in you. Yo tengo fe en ti. That is the inception of what God can do in your life. Es la, el principio de lo que Dios puede hacer. If that's you this morning, si eres tú esta mañana, I want you to lift your hands because I want to pray. Que for you. Tu mano. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I see your hands. God bless you. I see your hand. Amen. Just a couple more minutes because I believe God wants to help us where we're at within our Yo life. Yo creo que Dios quiere ayudarnos a, a nosotros donde estamos en nuestra vida. This morning, Esta those mañana, that are outside here on this on this YouTube or uh, online, que están viéndonos en línea, if that's you, si tú eres tú, I'm going to ask you to do the same thing. Te voy a where you're at, lo mismo, ahí donde estás. visibly, lift Vis your hand. Visiblemente, levanta tu mano. So that God can see you're making an account for it. Que Dios pueda ver que estás haciendo un compromiso. We have to be counted, folks. Tenemos que ser contados. We can't hide. In what it is that we want to confess. No podemos uh, escondernos de lo que queremos confesar. What we want broken within our life. Father, in the name of Jesus. Padre, en el nombre de Jesús. With every hand that has gone up. Con cada mano que se ha levantado. With every life that is looking for transformation. Cada vida que está buscando transformación. We come before you. Vengo delante de ti. We want to grow in you. Que quiero crecer en ti. We want to grow what you offer to us, God. Quiero crecer lo que tú ofreces. The grace that comes from your throne. La gracia que viene de tu trono. I must begin in believing. Yo com debo comenzar en creer. You can do anything, Father. Que tú puedes hacer cualquier so cosa, this morning, Padre. Si es que esta this mañana, morning, for the hands that have gone up, esta mañana para las manos que se I levantaron. pray, Father, this morning that we would get to know your word. Yo oro, Padre, que podamos a conocer tu palabra. Because we know you then. Porque te conocemos a ti. I pray, Father, that we connect ourselves. Yo oro, Padre, que nos conectemos. Connect ourselves with the people of God. Nos conectemos con el pueblo de Dios. As we encourage one another on this journey. Mientras nos animamos el uno al otro en esta pray, jornada. Pray, Father, that you send someone their way. Ah, yo oro, Padre, que le mandes a alguien. A brother, a sister in Christ. Hermano, hermana en Cristo. That will sharpen them. Que los afile. That will help them. Que les va a ayudar. That will help them grow within their life. Que les va a ayudar a crecer en su vida. I pray, Father. That I won't turn back. Yo oro, Padre, que no, no voy a regresar. I'm a 180 person. Yo soy una persona de 180 grados. I'm looking for change. Estoy buscando cambio. I'm looking for something that will be lasting. Uh, yo, uh, estoy buscando algo que va a durar. Only you can give that. Solo tú lo puedes dar. And I pray that over every hand and every heart that has been surrendered this morning. Yo oro sobre eso, sobre cada mano y corazón que se ha rendido. We trust you, Lord. Estamos confiando en ti. And we look to you this morning. Y vemos hacia ti esta mañana. Everybody lift your hands. I want to pray over your life where you're at. Todos levanten su mano. Quiero orar sobre Those that are out on the line, lift your hands. Los que están en línea también levanten su mano. I want to pray for you. Vamos a orar por ustedes. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Que el Señor les cuide y les guarde. May the Lord make his face to shine. Upon you. Que el Señor haga brillar su rostro sobre ustedes. May the Lord be gracious unto you. Que el Señor lleve de gracia. May the Lord turn his face towards you. Que incline su rostro hacia ustedes. And may he give you peace throughout this week. Que les dé paz a través de esta Amen. semana. I want to thank you for coming. Quiero thank darle you for gracias joining por us venir online. Y gracias por acompañarnos en línea. I want you to know that we have some people that are in the back if you need to take your name down for prayer. Quiero que sepan que tenemos gente ahí atrás si necesita oración. If you need prayer this morning, si tú necesitas oración esta mañana, I want to pray with you up here. El altar está abierto. Come.
Venga. But before you leave, Pero antes de irse, before you walk out, antes de que salga, I want you to greet at least two people. Quiero que salude por lo menos dos personas. And say, pray for me. Y díganle, Ore pray for me. Because I want to grow. I want to grow. Yo quiero crecer. So ask two people. A dos Pick personas. two people before you leave. Escoge a dos personas antes Can de que you pray for me? Puedes orar por mí. And let them be the ones that continue to encourage you on your life. Y que que ellos God bless vida. you. Dios les Amen. Amen.